Hey, bro, Chacherinos and bro, Chacherinos, how is it going, guys? Battlefist, welcome uh, to another video. Today we are actually talking about uh, things that I have done in the past couple of days to make gold. How much gold we will see from the mailbox, I have no idea how much gold I have uh, in the mailbox. As you can see, 127 mails. Uh, there have been some high-value items inside the mailbox, but I don't know what exactly uh, it's happening there. I'm pretty sure it's over like 600... Maybe 800,000, I don't know, we'll see, but currently I have 62,000. Now, before I open up the mailbox, I want to talk about uh, the goal, like how I've got to this... Uh, wait, why it's not showing? Alright, so let's try 7 days. Okay, so, as you can see, I had 24 total gold, uh, 24,000 total gold on my account completely, like on, on this server actually. Because uh, in the Monday, uh, when I had stream uh, on Monday... I said that I'm gonna make gold today for token. And what I've done is I've relocked to every chart that I have on this server and I have made some, you know, uh, sen sending gold and stuff from the other, uh, you know, alts that I have. And after I got to, I, I think there I got to like around 25, 26,000, maybe 30,000 or something. And I started buying things, okay? And besides buying things, I've also went to like dungeons and stuff that are required for crafting the legendary items because I had like three, uh, three armor crafters commendation or something, right? Yeah. Uh, these things are basically giving you the chance of cra crafting legendary, so you can have as many as you want of these, I think, and you can just stockpile them. That's what I was doing, you know, and I was waiting for the patch uh, to come because I know that when patch comes, many new players and many old players that were playing the game now they're not. When the patch comes, they're coming back to the game, so I figured maybe the legendaries will go higher because they were like 100,000 gold on my server, which is also really low, but some people told me that uh, it's even lower on some servers, so yeah. But anyway, uh, that's what I've also been doing, and uh, from 30,000 I bought some stuffs. I think this is the point where I sold the first legendary. Uh, I, I sold the first legendary, and the, uh, then I bought a lot of other things as well, and then I sold the second legendary, I think was it no uh then i sold some uh demon steel bars and inbuilt silk wave and those kind uh actually yeah inbuilt silk wave cloth you know uh those those are materials you can craft with your uh profession with your profession uh leather working doesn't have anything like that but for example in tailoring back in the days you had like nether wave and then you had inbuilt nether wave right uh, nether wave you can get from the moss, but input nether wave you need to craft, and it's also useful for the professions, uh, similar to, uh, you know, to uh, what is currently right now, input silk wave, and that's, those are things like demon steel bar, and input silk wave, and some other things from other professions, are things that people don't know how to get, or they are lazy to craft by themselves, and they're giving, like, double profit on the materials, at least on my server, like, if I want to craft demon steel uh, bar, I think it requires like two laystone and one fell slate. It costs me around thir uh, around 30 to 40 gold, and uh, I sell it for 80. You know, so that's. I think you might s see something like that in the mailbox. I'm gonna pull over the chat and see what we actually have in the mailbox. So yeah, that's generally what I was trying to tell you. Know what I've been selling for the past like couple of days. You know, uh, in the first uh, 24 hours, I did around 300,000 gold with legendaries and selling all the random shit. And uh, I bought the token, and as you can see, I was up here to, where is it, somewhere here, man, I don't know where, where was the token, actually, let's try, let's try 40 days, let's try 14 days, no, it's the same, so yeah, I've been having, like, low gold for a really long time now, because I was actually playing Overwatch, but anyway, uh, in the past seven days, I've bought, I bought the token. I think it was like it's not even, uh, it's not even mentioned here because it was like I got the gold and I went to the auction house. I bought the token and basically the gold disappeared. So this is where uh, the point I think where I got the token somewhere. I got to three hundred thousand, which should be somewhere here, and it dropped down to one hundred and sixty. Yeah, one hundred and sixty I had when I finished buying the token. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was 40. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter, actually, it's completely irrelevant. I just want to tell you that, you know, I bought the token and then continue buying stuff. I was buying a lot of things, like from potions, uh, games, anything that can craft me Obliterum, because, you know, every time patch comes, Obliterum is going up in prices and uh, up in quantity that is required from the market. And, 
you know, in that quantity I felt like I can satisfy some part of that. And I've been selling a lot of Obliterum in the past couple of days, to be honest. Uh, I let the things craft, I go downstairs, I make myself some, some coffee, I come up, I watch some TV show on my other monitor, some stream, and I press one button and that's pre pretty much what you're supposed to do when you have Easy Obliterate. Uh, as an add-on, you can also bind it, but you have the, you know, just download Easy Obliterate, you have the instructions. If you want me to do instructions for Easy Obliterate, I will do so, but... You know, we have the instructions in written form on the add-on page. That's how I've learned how to actually uh, work with Easy Obliterate. So, yeah, all right. Let's oh, uh, let's go and pick up the mailbox. See how much gold we have, and we will see how we're gonna proceed from there. Uh, how can I wait? I need to move this chat from the. Oops. God, man. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here and open up the mailbox and open all the mail. So, so far I have uh, looted 31,000 gold in the first session. Alright, 31,000. I will not reload the UI because I want it to inform me, alright, uh, at the end of the looting session, how much gold I have actually picked up, you know. So, I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna keep it open and as you can see, like, 80% of the things that I've been selling have been obliterum. Now, in this... When this happens, it's like a bug, you know, uh, on open all mails, uh, the TSM just stops, you know, I don't know why, but it, it happens sometimes. Alright, so we'll not reload, we're gonna wait for like 20 seconds. Um, so, we got 100,004 and 31 before, that's 135 so far. 135,000 gold so far. I've made previous around 300,000. And then from 160, I went down to 60. That means that for all this gold that you see in the mailbox, it's coming right now out of the mailbox. I have spent total of 150,000 max, okay? As you can see, I've been selling like... Uh, oh, those are the two legendaries that sold. That's pretty uh, fat one there. Shadow le uh, leather leg armor as well I've been selling. You know, I've, I've found some magnificent hide that was cheap on auction house. I bought that stuff. I bought some Spirit of Harmony. And I was making a lot of these uh, leather working leg armors, right? 715 so far. So yeah, as I said, it's above 600,000. I didn't know exactly how much it is, but I was pretty sure it was above that. I can also make one more legendary to boost this up to 1 million gold, like uh, I, I was doing on stream, you know, the, re the requirements to craft one legendary. And it takes me from 40 to 50 minutes to do everything, you know, there's like 3 dungeons and you need to kill like 100, I mean, you need to loot some 100 things, you know, uh, from mobs. And that takes me like around 40 to 50 minutes uh, to craft one legendary. And I get for that 200,000. Oh god, no, please. Alright, so 511,000, that's 135 and 511, that's uh, 600 and six, 646, 646 so far. Alright, so 646, well basically I start with like 60,000, now I have 733, so that means that I've, how much, I've made 600 and... Um, 670 and I've made before that around 300 something so that adds up to around 1 million gold okay so 1 million gold in around four days just by selling obliterum uh, selling legendary selling uh, wait I think I have like I think I can actually show you what I've been selling in the past couple of days uh, expenses revenue there you go that's those are the expenses that I've been buying you see nether shard descends for uh, 5,800 gold and 4,900 gold, which is pretty good. Isaril in seed, as you can see, 570. Uh, 570 multiply by 4, that is around 220 uh, gold. Uh, around 22 gold, I was uh, I was making one potion. But uh, from 4 Isaril in seed, you get 1.5. Not one potion, but 1.5 potions. So... And from 1.5 potion, you get 1.5 uh, ash, so uh, 175 basically, so you just need to divide 20 by 175 and you will see how much it actually costs me to make one obliterum. And I've been selling the obliterum, 
uh, player's gold. All right, let's try summary. I've been selling high 2239. I don't know. I don't know if you have the right profile open now, but um, I've made 357, 837 gold from, from only Obliterum, man. Sick. Uh, I love, you know, I love when every patch launch, uh, launches, people don't really, uh, people underestimate how much Obliterum is worth, like how, how many people are actually buying Obliterum, and currently I think Obliterum is still profitable, like if I go in the auction house right now, I think the Obliterum is still having some nice price, you know, I, I just wanted to get like 1 million gold because soon is my birthday, you know, 25th of, of uh, June, right now it's 19th of June, so... In like seven days is my birthday now. I feel like giving away some stuff for my birthday on stream. So, you know, I felt like let's just make one million gold and see how much time it will take. Surprisingly, I think on this million I spend around 30 to 40 hours active work on my PC. You know, like active work, meaning I need to actually focus or wait for something, you know. So that's how much it's, uh, I've spent. Uh, around 30 hours, I would say. You know, just crafting and buying stuff and selling. Obliterating is uh, part of the process as well, but obliterate is just come here and you just click auto select and then just obliterate. I'm gonna obliterate this couple just to show you. You see it auto, so now you just go into into keybinds, add-ons, and obliterate item. Let's just say I'm gonna make uh, J. Okay. So now when I go here, I auto select as well, and I just click J uh, on my keyboard. And no way! Wow, dude, that was the flask. I didn't. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to obliterate my flasks. You know, just a couple potions. So yeah, you see, it's pretty easy to obliterate stuff, and you don't even have to pay attention to the PC. So that's why I'm saying like 30 hours. But that's uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that was all that I had for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't ramble much. Uh, I'm pretty tired to be honest, so I might not, uh, I'm not really focused that much, and I drink a couple rakia before I come here for, with the lunch. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how much sense I've made, but hopefully this helped you, and hopefully uh, I've, you know, given you the, I, I've actually explained my point uh, clearly enough. So yeah, uh, thank you guys, and like the video if you feel like it deserves a like, and if you like to watch some more of this stuff. Uh, make sure to subscribe and click that bell button and until the next time if you have any questions or anything at all to suggest me for a video or something like that comment below and I will be honored to reply or read your your comments so thank you and see ya battle fist stay cool guys listen to your parents much love no homo and until the next time over and off